Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are on our way to another campground in Suffolk County to give a review. This one's called Sears Bellows Campground. We're in Suffolk County, New York. Turn left on the Bellows Park Road. So the sign says, welcome to Flanders, home of the Big Duck town of South Hampton. Thanks everybody for spending some time with me today here in Suffolk County. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscription button in the corner, turn on notifications. If you enjoy this content, give us a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching. Okay, the campground is up ahead on the right. Turn right to stay on Bellows Pond Road, then your destination will be on the right. Turning right. Your destination is on the right. Okay, I'm gonna mount the camera on the nose of the truck and we're gonna get a quick drive around. Okay, welcome to Sears Bellows County Park. We're gonna go check out the campground here today. Love to see old Glory waving in the breeze as she ought to. Okay, there's nobody in the park today, so we can take a free tour. Site number one and number two. On the right-hand side, you'll be right on the lake. On the left, you'll have some forest behind you for privacy, so there's equal benefits. If you camp here, you're going to want to bring a Y adapter, because it looks like each two campsites shares one of these water sites. So best to bring yourself a Y. This is site number five. Nice deep fire pit. Metal picnic tables are always nice. Nice natural terrain. It's not all flattened out. Now this is labeled tent camping. There's still a little bit of snow on the ground. Site number seven. I'm not going to tour each site because they're all pretty much similar in accommodations. I do see something I don't like to see, especially in the middle of winter. And we've got trail markers. I'm just going to stay on the road for now and on the way back I'll go over and look at the the pond. A little bit of an incline here. Going up. Okay, we have a bit of a fork in the road. Here's lucky site number 13. You guys have been following. You know that I veer towards site number 13 because it tends to be used less and it looks like this is the case here there's grass on the ground pine needles barely used so oh, i like site 13 beautiful spot here hope it's not too windy quite a breeze coming off the pond these woods are called the pine barrens we're out east in suffolk county on long island Tends to be a little bit colder here than the rest of the island. Now there's a bit of a hiking trail here. We're, on, we're technically on it right now. Boy, that's a cold breeze. Okay. Yep, dogs are allowed here, but they must be on a leash and under control at all times. This is always good advice. Real careful, kids, real careful. Don't forget to do your tick checks. I'm not going to slow this down. I want you to read it.
Okay, this one works very well wearing light colored clothing. Site number 19 is big, tucked back in the corner here. There's some kind of a road there. Doesn't really look like a road road, more like a, a backcountry road. Site number 20. 21's right across the street. Kind of like back here because you're tucked away from where the crowd is. No pavement, we just got dirt roads. Looks like a little bit of water may gather in here. Watch out for that. This is site 23. It does go uphill. You can see that's where people hang out. I wouldn't be setting my tent up down there. <sighs> kind of like this site, site number 24. It's nice and flat, got a lot of nice trees. Site number 25 is nothing to sneeze at either. Quite nice. Very flat. Okay, it looks like that fork in the road just led to a, a big circle. 26, 28. Sites over here. And there's not a big difference from one site to the other. I mean, there are some differences in terrain. Some more hilly, some are flatter. Generally, most of the sites are flat and clear. All right, so this is where we split up the uh, fork in the road. So we went around this circle, checked out everything. We've already gone down this trail, and checked out all the sites along each side. Let's go down and check out the pond. Oh. I slowed the drip down. I didn't stop completely, but I slowed it down. Let's see if I can find a beaten trail here. This looks pretty safe. Okay, there's a pavilion over there and some rental boats and a playground. Maybe a bathhouse over there. Let's go check that out. Okay, this looks like a beach area. This is the kind of stuff I don't like to walk through. Uh, we're midwinter here. I ought to be okay. Looks like the water levels are high. This is a bench right out there. This looks like where you drag your boats in. Right. Yeah, there's a bathhouse up there. I'm not sure what this room is. There's a playground and a pavilion for parties. And we got rental boats right there. Okay, we got rental boats here. Nice little fly bottom fishing boats. Aluminum. Now they can surely withstand the weather. Yeah, nice aluminum boats by Alumacraft. Okay, right at the top of this hill is a pavilion. I'm sure it's available for rental. If you want to have a party here, or a reunion. It's nice and spacious. Looks like the pond goes through. There's more over there. Hey, this is the pavilion at Sears Bellows Pond Campground. It's February. It's cold out. Not terrible. But there's a bit of a breeze and it's, oh, in the mid-30s, I would guess. Not terrible. And there's the pavilion. And we got some nice fire pits. Make for a nice party. And directly across the street is a kitty playland. Creating good memories, keeping the camping tradition alive is very important. Take your kids camping if you haven't yet, you should. It's really cheap, it's fun, a lot of lessons to be learned, a lot of lessons to be taught. Go camping. We have another tick warning sign here and a sign saying reserve picnic areas for youth groups over to Sears Pond by permit only. Okay, the bathrooms are closed for the season. Looks like they have a trailer available for people who need it somewhere. 
Little washout stations are always nice because you don't want to attract animals to your campsite. Don't wash your feet in there, please. <laughs> or your kids. No smoking. All right. Just down that way is the public beach. No lifeguards are on duty, so swimming is prohibited at the moment. I'll just show what these are. These are camps. There's water. This looks like a woodstock. Yeah, these must be campsites. They're just not labeled. That's all right. All right, so that's the tent camping section here. We made the big loop around, walked down by the pond, by the pavilion, and now we're going to go up to the trailer section. Okay, this is the trailer camping section, sites 31 to 70. No alcohol, don't speed, keep your generator quiet, watch out for the ticks. It's a nice little option that Suffolk County offers to their citizens. It's a bike service station, and a, an air pump and all the little tools that you might need to fix your bike. You can even hang your bike up here, makes life easy for you. Very cool, Suffolk County, good thing. They call this the bike hostel area. I guess it's a place to lock up your bike. Okay, now let's check out the campgrounds for our trailers here at Sears Bellows Pond Campground. I'm guessing that's 30 and 31, because this is 32. Now 70 is on this side, so it's gonna go out and back. So we'll just stick to the right-hand side all the way. Site 32. Now these are all trailer sites. Nice and flat, lots of room to pull in. You should have no problem with a 20 foot or more trailer, I would imagine. Be sure to check the website to make sure that those sizes are gonna work for you. A fairly nice amount of space in between the campgrounds, which is always what you want. And nice and mature trees always make your campground extra nice. And that we have here. Site number 35. Looks like the trailer section has individual water service for each site. Very nice. Better pressure. Number 37. Comes complete with firewood. I'm not seeing fire pits at the trailer sites. I'm seeing picnic tables and water. No fire pit, so you might want to pack along your solo stove on your way out to Sears Bellows. Nice sight. I love the trees. That's a good one. What number is this? 38. 38 is especially nice. Yeah, but 39. Nice and deep. Site number 40 and 41 are right next to each other. So if you are camping with another family, 40 and 41, great option for you. Make a note. Site number 42. Okay, so this should be site number 43. There is no number on it. I do see caution tape on the tree. They may have closed this one last season to recover. Looks like site 43. Okay, when I drove in, I drove up that way, but I think the numbers go this way. If that was 43, we're looking for 44. That says 57 and 61. And this is site 43. All right. Really nice sites. And they're all pretty equal. 
there's no one that's a lot better than the other ones, which is really the way a public campground should be, right? No prime land. Site number 44. I'm only watching the one side of the road because that's the way the numbers are going. And plenty of firewood this time of year. Site number 45. Nice one, goes very far back. That's a good one. Very nice. Hmm. That one might go on my special list too. Number 46, put a star on that one. Now you're right on the road here, so number 47 and so forth. These are on a road, so there'll be some traffic noise. Number 48, right on the road, but hey, not a bad sight, especially for the hearing impaired. I'm half deaf these days. I can't hear a thing once I get inside my trailer. It's good and bad. Site number 49, sunny, beautiful. A lot of room in between the sites here. A lot of room. I like that. This is site number 50. Seems like that's a trade off. Becky, you get a nice big deep site, but you're right on the road, so it's a trade off. 51. Another one of those sites that would be great for a pair of families to come and occupy. So in the trailer section, we do have a fresh tarmac road here, which is always nice when you're pulling your trailer, not to have to pull through mud. What number do we have here? It looks like they took out a lot of trees in this area. Whole bunch of trees. This might be one of the reserve picnic areas for groups. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So a Boy Scout troop can come down and set up their little village right in here. Nice. Very nice. Uh, there's a big deep hole here, and it looks like they took out all the trees. There's a sign coming up explaining why. I'm kind of curious myself. Why would these pine trees cut down? They were cut down to help save the pine barrens from a southern pine beetle. Thousands of beetles bore into pine trees, creating tunnels that disrupt the flow of nutrients affecting trees. Affected trees die in just two to four months. Cutting infested pine trees is a proven management strategy. After trees are cut, the bark along the length of the tree is scored. The dried out bark falls off, exposing beetles to weather and predators. This reduces beetle populations, saving other trees. These pictures show how a managed forest and an unmanaged forest yellow line show infested areas soon after discovery. Red lines show the spread of infestation in one year. The infestation increased by only a small fraction in the managed forest and increased by more than 10 times in the unmanaged forest. So if you can make heads or tails out of that, basically, this was a managed forest, and the yellow line indicates where they treated. The red line is where the beetles moved to. They infested farther, but not much. In a non-treated area, this was the area, and look at how much it infested. So it's a pretty good advertisement for, uh, for their plan here. I put some faith in it. They seem to know what they're doing. Of course, we're looking at the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, one of my favorite organizations. So I tend to give them the benefit of the doubt. Not that I have any doubt. Well, this is not a New York State DEC campground. This is a Suffolk County campground, but it is nice to know that they are working together. Yes, these are reserved camping areas. All around. All reserved. All right, so I'm going to backtrack and get back to the uh, the trailer sites, which is back over there. Okay, now we're coming back in the opposite direction on the opposite side of the road. So 51, 52, 52 is very nice. And it's got a lot of space between itself and the next site. Very nice. Let's see, site number 53, right in front of us. Nice picnic table. 
water supply. Very pretty. I like this campground. It's very nice. This is site number 54. This is so much easier to do when the park is empty in the middle of winter. I'm just showing people great places to camp at nice affordable prices in beautiful Suffolk County, as well as my beautiful Catskill Mountains. We'll be getting back up there soon. It's really cold up there right now. All right, site number 57, right on the corner. Pretty sight, nice and easy to get into. You know, you're right on this big intersection. Again, very nice, maybe a little bit smaller than the rest, but there's nothing behind you, which I like that very much. We have a toy hauler with a deck that's off the back of the, the rig, so whenever I can find a site where I can put that deck, where it's not right on top of somebody's bathroom window, it's a pleasure. All right, 61 and 60. On the way over to site number 62, we have the pump out station, which is very simple out here in Suffolk County. It's just uh, a pump out right there and a water supply. Do not drink the water out of that water supply. That's just for flushing. And if you're not a camper here, it's gonna cost just nine bucks to pump out. Okay. Site number 62 is right next to the pump out station. So consider that. Not a bad spot though. Close to the bathrooms, I guess would be a good thing. 62. And this one in front of us is 63. Another nice site. Site number 63. And here on the opposite corner is site number 61 for your camping pleasure. I'm not sure about these sites here. I don't actually see numbers on them yet. Oh, here's a number. I'll just grab them and I'll sew them in. Site number 65. Site number 66. We'll pass to the bathroom right there. Site number 67. Another nice, level, big site, lots of room, number 67, 68, another dripping faucet, 68, and number 69, has some nice old trees, always like that. Plenty of firewood laying about the campground. For you lucky campers that get to be here first this season. And the very last campsite in the trailer section is site number 70. Big site, right on the road. This is one of those sites though. If you're the type of guy that likes to be seen camping, like to show off your gear, here's your site. This is site number 70. It's right by the entrance next to the parking lot. No. Okay, that does it for the uh, campgrounds. Uh, we've seen all the individual sites. Now I'm gonna make my way back out to my truck, uh, get a little bite to eat, a little bit of coffee, and then we're gonna check out the rest of the amenities here at the park. Thank you for watching everybody. I appreciate you spending your time here with me today in Suffolk County looking at campgrounds. If you're looking to go camping this year, check out my campground tours and my campground uh, playlists. We'll give you an idea of what these places look like before you get there. In many cases, I pick out my good, better, and best favorite sites. And uh, I don't always visit every site, but when I can, I do. Otherwise, I give you a good feeling for the campground. Some I just drive through, others I do the full tour. We're in the off season right now, so you get the full tour.
that does it for the trailer camping area here. Okay, the main office is right there. The lake is down there, the pond. Let's head back to our truck. It's in this parking lot. Okay, welcome to Sears Bellows County Park. We're gonna go check out the campground here today. Love to see old Glory waving in the breeze as she ought to. All right, we're off to our next destination. We're heading east.